everybody here this morning. Happy Easter. The uh, announcements are in your bulletin. I uh, want to thank everybody, especially that helped with the Easter egg hunt. It uh, went very well. And uh, we'll have a little bit of the uh, drone video uh, that you can see for those of you that haven't seen it on Facebook, but the whole video is on Facebook. Um, and then afterwards, this morning we have breakfast downstairs, biscuits and gravy, uh, fruit, Think some pastries. I didn't. I haven't been down. They didn't have all the food out when I was down there for some reason. <laughs> Probably because I would have sampled it. Uh, but anyways, at this time we'll have uh, prayer time. Are there any any prayer requests that you'd like to lift up? Um, I had sent around a prayer request on Thursday about my brother-in-law. I have two sisters, and, and the one sister was in the hospital, but she's home and doing fine, and um, the cardiologist and everybody cleared her, so she's doing very well. But my other sister, her husband, um, had been having some health issues and just gradually getting worse and he had, he had had a heart attack and they put him in the local hospital and they transferred him to the big city hospital where he just was continuing to get worse but on, on Friday night he passed away um, so I need to keep both my sisters in prayer but especially the one that lost her husband Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the hope that the resurrection gives us. We know that Easter makes a difference in our lives, in the lives of others, and also in the lives of the, of the world. And because of that, we have hope. And we know of your love for us. We ask that you be with those that are on our prayer list. We have so many... So many people that need your healing, your peace, your touch. We ask that you be with them. Ask that you especially be with my sister Diane. To give her your peace and your comfort and just give her wisdom and guidance. And Father, also be with those that, that also during this Easter season that are missing loved ones that they can be comforted. Father, continue to show us your grace and mercy and your peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And at this time, we'll take a look at a little bit of the video from the Easter egg hunt. to do it. <laughs> well, these are the younger kids going out first so they don't get trampled by the bigger kids.
Okay, the whole video is on Facebook if you want to take a look at it. Would you turn in your bulletins to our call to worship? Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Darkness has been overpowered. The brilliant light of the Lord has come. Come, let us worship and celebrate the good news. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Would you please stand our, and turn in your hymnals to number 132, He Lives, hymn number 132. <laughs>
people. Well, today we're looking at Acts, which is a continuation of the, the whole gospel, the sum of the whole Bible, all together. And it's surprised by hope. You know, we, we have it good, but we also have it bad, or we have situations in our lives that we'd rather not have, or that we have no control over, or that hurt us. Things that we don't understand that happen, things, you know, that we just have no control over. And it, it upsets us and it bothers us. But we find that in the, in the Bible. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but the Easter stories are, are all about people getting the short end of the stick. I mean, Mary out going to the tomb and she thinks, Jesus' body's been stolen. Peter sees the, looks in the tomb, sees the linen wrappings, and he, and he can't quite figure out what's going on. The disciples, of course, didn't understand the Bible verses, the, the words that Jesus taught them. The angels questioned Mary and she doesn't know what's, what's going on. She thinks Jesus is the gardener. And then after she realizes who he is, she wants to, to grab onto him, hug him, hang on to him. And Jesus says, you can't. Not right now. And I mean, you can hardly get more misunderstandings in, in just a few paragraphs. The Easter has rushed into our world. It, it came into our, our time of, of space, of matter, real history, real people, real life. But our minds, our imaginations are really too small to, to contain all of it, to understand fully what it completely means. One of the good things about the resurrection story is that none of the people that were searching for the body the, the Christians that were on the road talking to Jesus, even Peter and John, the, the lead apostles, none of them are perfect. There, there's, there's confusion there. They're all confused. <laughs> and sometimes when we, we read the story, you know, we, we see the bigger picture because we're 2,000 years removed from it, but they look at this, what's happening and they're confused. They don't understand it. And some people say, oh, this is just a story that was made up 100 years after all these events happened. But if it was a made up story, made up stories fit together and work they, they take out all the problems, all the mistakes, all the issues. But the stories we have tell us exactly the, story, the, the problems they had, the issues they had, the mistakes they made. You know, nobody would have made up a story about the head wrapping of Jesus folded up and sitting off to the side. That's a, that's a detail that doesn't really matter in a made-up story. 
or the evening on the road to Emmaus, where they're talking with Jesus, but yet they didn't know that they were talking to Jesus. Or when they're cooking breakfast out on the shore on the Sea of Galilee. See, the first Christians weren't prepared for what actually happened. I mean, it was over, it was done with, it was finished. And that was it. They expected to find a body, and there wasn't a body there. Because God had other plans. The people thought this is the way it was, this is the way it's going to be. But God is in the miracle business. And God had other plans. And on that Easter morning, there was a, a resurrection of Jesus. And it confused people. Well, in Acts, the Roman centurion, Cornelius, believes in God. Doesn't know anything about Jesus, but he believes in God and he's worshiping and he's praying. And God says to Peter, I want you to go to Cornelius and I want you to tell him about Jesus. And so Jesus goes, and N.T. Wright says it this way. He says, he, he doesn't say to Cornelius, he doesn't say, well, you, you've got this great, wonderful faith already. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that marvelous? I mean, we're all on different paths up the same mountain. Peter doesn't say that. There are not different paths up the mountain to God. There's only one way, and Jesus is the way. And Peter says to Cornelius, the God that you have been worshiping from afar has now come close to you in Jesus, and he has done something new in Jesus that changes world history, and it gives new meaning to human life. And so Cornelius is, believes and is baptized. And as Easter people, it is our duty to make God's kingdom known through Jesus, to make God's justice known to the world. So the Easter story is, of people who are getting the wrong end of the stick. They just aren't going very smooth for them. But in reality, that's, that's a large part of the Bible. People are treated unfairly. Things don't go right for them. They don't understand what God is saying, what God is doing. They have different expectations. They have different hopes. And they're not seeing it. And in the resurrection, of course, we see many misunderstandings. And these were these were these are eyewitness accounts, and there are misunderstandings. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the same thing happen in your own life. But God has a plan. For us. And the first thing that Easter tells us is that suffering or tragedy or evil, goodness can triumph. And the second thing that Easter tells us is that death is not final. You know, we wonder why the church is, is irrelevant. We've lost our message of resurrection. See, we who celebrate the risen Lord today must bear witness to Easter. See, that is God's great act of putting things right in the world. It is 
the beginning, but it also tells us where our final destination will be. See, many people come to church on Easter because of the message of hope. There is a unique message of hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God's Son came to earth, lived as we live, and took on the penalty of sin, our sin, even allowing himself to be killed dead. And so Peter tells Cornelius in Acts 10, which I didn't read to save, save time. But he says the resurrection, the true and living God is welcoming all people into his family. The Easter is God saying to all people, come to me. I have practical solutions I can relate to the problems that you have. I want you to worship me. Easter is all about Jesus. Jesus who rose again to be crowned king over all things, heaven and earth. And verse 43 in Acts 10 says this. He, Jesus, is the one all the prophets testified about, saying that everyone who believes in him will have their sins forgiven through his name. See, Jesus does make a difference. And we all have that decision to make which impacts us. But the good news is Jesus has been changing the world and will continue to change the world just as he changes us. It takes believing in him and once we believe in him, our sins are forgiven. So not only are we made right, the world is beginning to make, be made right. And in the end, Jesus is going to serve as the judge of the living and the dead. But those who believe in him already have their sins forgiven. Because that's what Easter and the resurrection proves to us. That Jesus does and will do what he says he will do. Amen. Would you please stand and turn in your hymnals to number 137. Christ the Lord is risen today, number 137. <laughs>
Help us to remember to claim your victory in our lives. To live as you would have us to live. And Father, we thank you for the, the blessing of food that we are about to receive. We thank you for the hands that prepared it and the blessings that you give to us. All this we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.